Hey, Bobby. Hope you like all the fungi that I placed. I noticed that your house was missing a bright red color, so I decided to do something about it. Andy. Well, <laughs> thanks, Andy, for all the little red little mushrooms all over the place. I really appreciate that. And I'm not hearing any noises coming out of here. That's not good. That's not good at all. We should fix this problem. Okay, hello all. My house is right over there. I'm right over here in the desert area. And for today's episode, which is what I would consider the first real episode of this um, little series here on the Hard Hat server, we are going to start and just build a basic little cactus farm. And I'm going to put a hopper in it, which I don't have yet, and it's going to go into a chest. But we got enough cactus here, and I'm just going to build a basic farm. And start off by just building a 9x9, nine nine. so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you just connect it, which is what I'm going to do here. And what I'm also going to do, whoa, is right here I'm just going to make a really quick, fast, infinite water source. Right there. So now that that's good, we have that available for our use once we need it. And this goes to here. And now I have to decide which area. I think I want this to be my collection point. So let's dig that one out there so I know which one it is. Now I just got to build some rows right here. And I'm going to end up needing some dirt also. Or wood or something. I think I'll end up using dirt. Dirt seems good. Could also use sandstone. That would work too. I think we'll go with the sandstone route actually. So now that I got this done... Um, I'm just going to build like five of these. No, actually I'm going to build f four. Okay, now that I have the sandstone, I just got to put these here. And then I put sandstone blocks on top here. And then I remove this here. I can collect these. And I have to do that for all the way around. So I'll go ahead and pre-place these down in their locations. Since this is a very quick and easy thing to build. And then I'll end up needing to put more sandstone down. Okay, now that we have our cactus, we get to place it down here. Just walk along here. Every other block, this way it grows up. There. And there. Yes, I do have enough. Here, 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 and here. Now what I have to start doing is I get to place the water. And just place it every other block like this at the edges. So that's also here, here, and I'll end up needing two more. So that's one there, and one there. Oops, not there. There. So now, as you can see, this water all flows down to here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this down one more block. And there goes my shovel, but I have another to here. Let's dig that so I can get out. And this last block of water gets placed right there. And that flows all the way to here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a hopper right here. And then I'm going to place a chest right there. So I'm going to go make myself a hopper and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we're back with our hopper in our chest, I think we'll just place our chest right... Well, first of all, I'm going to dig us out one more, but I'm going to stick... Um, I'm going to put those back. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my chest down, like that. Then I'm also going to place the hopper so that it goes into the chest to see if I can do this without falling off. Like... Okay, well, I'll have to dig out this here on this here but it'll be alright so now everything that falls in if I throw this into this hopper here it'll get funneled into the chest so now that we're good for that I'll just place these down I'll probably just dig this out here and you know what would go good here is if I had some sandstone stairs better yet if I had slabs that would fit even better let's see one two three four five six would be yeah that would work so let's just make us some um, 
uh, let's see. That. It's probably way too much, but hey, that's alright. I don't care. And we'll go make yourself some slabs, and then we'll work in the stairs. Hello all, we are back, and we have our little itty bitty little sandstone slabs that I was talking about. And I w you want to end right here, right in front of the chest. So that would be slab there, and you walk up here. And then this one here will be slab. You walk up here, and that one will be... S no, this one will not be slab. This one will be stairs, and then this here, that can be slab. So I ended up having enough, more than enough pieces of stand stone, but that's alright. Just walk down here, grab any cactus that falls in here. I'm just going to store my excess cactus in there. And it hasn't seemed to start working yet, but I know it will soon, because I actually had chopped down and replaced all these here. That's where I got these from, and these haven't grown yet, so I doubt that these would have grown yet. So we have our basic water set up, and it's very, very simple in how it works, but I'll just explain it anyways. These grow, and since they can't have a block next to them, they automatically pop off, and as long as they don't get destroyed by the cactus itself, they'll fall into the water streams. And then these water streams, whoa, will get pushed into this water stream, Ex with the exception of this one, it goes straight in, and then everything that flows into these will fall into this hopper, which then sticks everything into this chest. And I put that one in there, so I know that none have grown yet, but I know that since my house is right here, um, let's fix that there. Since my house is right there, this will always be a loaded chunk, so this will always be working, and I'm pretty sure in due time I might have to make a second chest or filter it out, give them away to people, since I'm not sure who else has Cactus Farm yet on this server. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. I'll have to do something to Andy since he uh, pranked us. We might have to prank him back, but he might see it by the end of this video. So now we're going to figure out what we're going to do for that. I came downstairs, and the downstairs is filled with mushrooms also. My goodness, Andy, my goodness. You have got yourself quite the quite the supply of red mushrooms. I hope you didn't put any down there. I don't think so. I don't see any. But what I can see is we can harvest our cactuses, which means that we have food now. Yay! And this, I'm going to replace that. That doesn't need to be there. But now that I have enough cact... Let's see. One, two... Th this is uh, carrots also. One... Let's see. I have eight, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that'll work. So we'll just uh, destroy you. And then I'm going to go get my hoe. And I'm going to hoe this ground because it pays me to. Where's my hoe? Where'd I put it? Here it is. Yep, and we have enough. So go down here. And let's see if I just... No, I have to destroy these first fine with me. Oopsie. Sorry. I destroyed you. It seems kind of loud, doesn't it? I think it's kind of... I think it... It, uh, it, uh, la, 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 la. it is loud, but that's okay. And uh, I'll just go ahead and reharvest my wheat. So, Andy's little Escalade produced 64 and 62, so that's... 128, 126, 126 red mushrooms, and three signs. <laughs> so if we have to bring them back, we're going to make sure we do it on an equal scale <laughs> of um, badness, if you could say. And I need to, let's see, and I just went ahead and I s took out this wall, put a chest here, and I'll just keep all my excess wheat and carrots in here and grab three of those for right now. I don't think I have any carrots up here in this chest, do I? If so, I'll move them downstairs. I have one. One doesn't do any good for us. But that's alright. We'll just eat this here. And now we're off to do our next order of business. So today's episode, I'm going to continue to work on this little thing here at spawn. And I'm going to... Well, the sun's going down, so we'll probably have to jump into the nether. But first off, we're going to... Well, that's... What is this? Oh, just a welcome book. 
I'm going to end up making a sign over here using some of this wood. I don't know why I brought my chest with me. I didn't really need it. Let's see. It's there, and... I know it's kind of a waste of the wood that I'm using, but hey, you know, it's, it's all good, right? Um, B.O. Bobby is Yoda's um, thingy. Yeah, I'm sure that'll make him surprised. So we're just going to hop back into the nether, and we're going to wait until daytime. Okay, so everybody, now that it's daytime and we're back, we're going to continue building this thing here. Whoopsie. Not like that. Alright. Whoa, laggy a little bit there. So we're just going to complete the base rim of this thing here. And then after that, I'll show you how the rest of the rest of it gets built. I'll go get that one in a minute. And that one also. Since we have plenty, I made 40 of these, and we definitely didn't need 40. What I'll end up having to do is I'll probably have to end up refining my current uh, spruce wood farm, which I have up right now, which is basically just a couple of trees growing in my backyard. So now that this is here, this is the base of it. Uh, this will go here, and this will go here. And then what this will do is this will continue to go up. I'm just putting that there so I can place another block here. Not that one, this one. Oh no, I lost it. No. That's alright. And this is actually good to put the stuff in last. But this will go up all the way until it reaches this block here. And this block here will continue to go up until it reaches this. So it's like four different things going up, and then they'll each hit each other. And when they hit each other, then there'll be another row in the inside that goes up until they hit each other, until it continues up. Kind of like a uh, like a really tall, skinny pyramid. And that doesn't... Are these slabs? Yes, they are. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and fix that for Belko, since he'll probably appreciate it. Put that there. We have another piece um, of this at our house. Actually, you know what? Belko's probably not going to like that. He'll be like, where'd the piece go? So, it'd probably be best if we just put it back where it was. Which is alright for me. I just thought it looked kind of weird where it was. And we need to build a retaining wall. Because there's tons of mobs and stuff that spawn down here at night time. And it's getting on our nerves. So, where was it? Over here? Yeah, I was right there. Until I'm sure someone will fix that soon. I also need to fix that. And yeah, let's just. Uh, I wish I can convert this back, but we're gonna save these. So yeah, we're just gonna go home for now and um, work in a tree farm into the Nether. Oh, I actually have a good idea for what we can do here in the Nether. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yes, yes. This, yes. That my creative juices are flowing right now. I know exactly what I'm going to do. And they're going to love it, love it, love it. First of all, let's see. Nether bricks are made of four, right? Yeah, yeah. I just hope no one logs on. Do I have another? I have another pickaxe at our house. So let's go home before we do anything. Okay, everybody. We're back here in the nether. And this is the portal that leads to spawn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... And I'm sure once everyone else sees this video, they'll start and continue it. I'm going to um, continue this pattern that we've been doing right here. Um, up until... Maybe not that one, though. Because I think that wouldn't fit right. So basically, we're going to continue this pattern along, leaving one on the inside. So, like, I'll leave that one. Leave that one. Whoa, lag here. Oops, not that one. And I'm going to get basically all the noise from this portal is going to end up being in this video, and I apologize for that. But hey, it's another, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. Okay, so this is just a good starting area. And let's see that one, too. So I'll just kind of show you what I mean by doing this without that one there. 
and then this will continue here all the way and then these right here will be uh, nether brick okay that is way too loud for this video I am definitely turning 42 percent how did it get that high oh my gosh I normally keep it like 15 okay that's a lot better now I don't know why I was at 42 percent that is way too high for even when I play normally I never keep it at 42 percent gosh that was a uh, that was loud so yeah these blocks here and then all the blocks here on the outside will be nether brick and then this row on the inside of here will also be nether brick which means I can probably just dig around here giving me my barrier little whoa okay apparently there was nether rack here at one point that's alright I was wondering if I was gonna end up hitting some here funny funny Belko or Andy or whoever dug that out so yeah I'll cut back when I get more of this done okay everybody so we're back here and I've got this done and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place down a furnace and I'm going to continue um, so one two three five six seven eight one more and we're not that dang it you know screw it so we're just gonna stick those in there and we've got nine of these things so far Six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine of these so far, and I heard a gas just then. And now that we got these in here, it's starting to, uh, like we stand right here, it's starting to look a lot better, I think, compared to just being plain old, you know, the way it was. And wait, I actually have enough, I can make one more. And now I got this one. I can make one more here. Once it gives it, there we go. This will give me. I can now dig out two more. So just one, two. At those, place those down. Right that. So I will cut back once we have as much of this done as possible. It might be a while, but I will. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I had run out of uh, another rack. I let it, you know, cook to its end. So I got some more in there, and actually, that'll cook there. And so this is what I have done so far. I've almost completed the outside ring, which is, I just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of those. So, I'm almost done here. Um, I've actually kind of been just basically sitting AFK for the past about 15 minutes, letting this stuff cook itself, which I will do one more here for you all. And this is actually a very tedious process. I'll just go ahead and do this one for now. And I might need to go and run home and get food, but then that would disrupt this cooking. So I might just go ahead and just stay here. So, again, I will come back when we have some more completed. Okay everybody, um, I've completed the outside ring and I have two more nether bricks for the inside ring. So I'm just going to go ahead and start building them here on this section. And as you can see here, we only have one piece of coal left. So we're just going to dig out six of these, two, three, until we have enough. Okay, seven, that's more than, wait, no, we need one more which is eight. I'm just going to go ahead and throw those in there and I need to return home and get some more food which will kind of screw that up but trust me everybody it'll work. Trust me it'll work. Nope not there. This way. Okay everybody so we finally finished this room with the nether portal and I realized that it's actually not even. There's a lot bigger space over here than over here but for right now, I really don't care. I just built it the way it is, and I think that looks a lot better than just having the basic nether rack um, in the bottom. Now we got the nether bricks and the cobblestone, and it fits a lot better with the pathway that we got here. And I think that's where I'm going to cut it here for today's episode, so thank you all so much for watching. And, um, yeah, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days on back on the hard hat server.